CSIR Net has dropped a bomb on the Sankranti day. DBT and CSIR Net is merged, they say. The impact is minimal, the notice is crying. Yet it has shattered the dreams of aspirants who were eyeing. More choices to make, less clarity to gain, a new kind of pressure in the JRF again. On paper, they say it is progress. But in real exam halls, a new hurdle has begun. Welcome to Biotechnica, a complete analysis video today on this new yet again sad news or happy I can say for the CSI and aspirants and DBT aspirants because a new challenge has come in front of you. Today, in fact yesterday night, this notification popped up and as always, they always are uh, notorious to release notifications on uh, special days. So, New Year Day we had the answer key, uh, 14th of uh, f uh, January we have this bomb. So, what's happening is a very diplomatic, sugar-coated notification has come and they're happily saying that, you know, this is not going to impact you. We have addressed all your concerns and CSIR net is going to be the same. DBT is going to be the same. The funding pool has just increased. Now, the DBT aspirants also get a chance to get a JRF and, uh, you know, all of that. And we are making sure that the question paper will have equal number of questions for both sections so that everybody's, uh, you know, um, uh, situation is justified. But here we are. They are not talking the hidden challenges which the aspirants will face and in this video I'm going to talk about that. Now, first of all, let us understand what they are saying. They are saying we have merged both DBT, BET exam and CSI and Life Sciences. They are saying that it will have no impact because we have understood the concerns of the students. So, no, no changes for you. You prepare the way you were, you were preparing. The seats are not reducing. There, they will be the same. Just the funding bodies will be different. Like earlier it was CSIR net and UGC. Now it is CSIR net, UGC and DBT, BET. So, three funding bodies. Same number of JRF, same funding, same prestige. There is nothing less. And this is what they say. But of course, the truth is something else, but we'll look into that. They say that the questions will have optional option questions for question paper will have optional questions for uh, both uh, sections like biotech and life sciences, and they'll be equally uh, difficult or easy. And uh, they both will analyze the concepts, analytical thinking, research aptitude, and there'll be no narrow specialization so that everybody wins. And then at the fourth point, they are putting a big win for DBT, JRF, clap, 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 and that is you are getting a you know, option for GRF plus assistant professor, assistant professor plus PhD eligibility or register for a PhD directly in any of the, uh, you know, central universities. All of that, big clap for CSI and wow, what a great uh, notification, but nobody talked about the plight of the people who will prepare for this exam. What is being done is only tip of the iceberg. This is an interpretation from the CSI net side. Nobody is interpreting the challenges which the aspirants will face. Now, for example, let's say that if they are going to say that the equal number of weightage will be given to CSIR net life science questions and the biotech, so either they have to increase the number of questions or they have to, in the same uh, question paper, they have to give the you know, numbers. So what will happen is the first challenge you will face is analysis paralysis. You'll be like, which one to prepare? Which one to leave? Which question, which section I should try? Especially for the biotech guys. Now, they'll be like, Okay, there is life science, bio, biotech and interdisciplinary, which one I should choose. Students will not know which section to attack. Students will not know um, under pressure. So all of this will be under pressure. There will uh, there'll be a huge risk because deciding is the first step of solving a question. So if you can't decide, how do you solve? So a lot of time will go in deciding. So analysis paralysis is the biggest challenge. The second challenge will be identifying easy questions because now you have to go through the entire question paper of more number of questions but the number of hours is going to be the same, right? So the questions will have, can have mixed uh, concepts. They can all, obviously, because in my last video, if you remember last year, I had made that, that they have somewhere got saturated with the number of questions they have ever asked because CSI net has been here for the last 30 years. Question, paper setters are also like, you know, either we have to increase the difficulty level, otherwise we can't really ask questions. So uh, that that will happen. So now they can merge cell biology with biotech. They can merge genetics with data interpretation. They can merge um, molecular biology with experimental logic. Now the questions might look fami familiar, but they might have a biotech logic. logic. They might have an experimental twist. They might have multi-step reasoning process, right? So students may start thinking that, okay, this question seems easy. They, you start solving. Midway you realize, no, this is not my cup of tea, right? 
or um, and because of that you lose valuable minutes nobody is talking about that right on the top of it time that they're not going to increase the time then either they will increase the length of the question paper like number of questions or they will uh, you know divide the question paper equally but in both the cases decision making is going to be a challenge choosing the right easy questions will be a challenge and on the top of it more students will abandon questions after solving midway so this fear of missing out will be there like what if this question is tough let me go for the next question right and that was always there now it will be even more and this relative stress will be so high and now people will be like how the ranks are getting decided nobody knows right diverse pool so who is rank 1 is this life science guy or the biotech guy because both are in the question paper right and what if people who are, who are in the mid range who's attempted both and they are not uh, not eligible now now cut off will fluctuate like anything unpredictably uh one to two mistakes can drop the ranks by hundreds and what will happen so earlier it was like dbt was having narrow focus and predictable pattern while csir was more of life science ecology evolution physiology broad pattern now the moment you merge it's very difficult to balance and they're not talking about it. they'll be like yeah we'll do it but we also know it's not easy to balance a question paper we have seen this already when they were conducting two uh, papers morning se uh, session and evening session it was already very difficult and that is where biotechnica comes into picture we have the sankalp batch which is starting from 20th of january and today and tomorrow we are giving on the occasion of sakranti 50% discount link is in the description if you register for this batch we will be training you on csr net strategy we will be training you on how exactly you can strategize guys we will be training you on how to save time and choose the easy questions first and we will train you on experimental design questions data interpretation questions in biotech and life sciences and you know biotechnica we are pioneers in the life science csr net for last 18 years we are training students and now we have ai from videonica which will train you so all of that happening so of course uh, now coming to Uh, all those students who have been practicing using the old coaching material or test series or previous year question papers is going to be completely useless that is where the latest questions which biotechnica has released through the aimnet 2026 is going to be very handy and that will be exclusively available only to the sankalp batch students so poorly designed mock test paper gone that will not help so quit that come prepare with biotechnica now let's come back to the video and another fact which nobody is uh, discussing is a psychological pressure and stress because when you have so many choices to make you don't know which one is the right choice and that psychological pressure anxiety and overthinking will lead to performance loss on one hand you are losing time on the other hand you are having anxiety and then the hidden truth which nobody is talking selection intelligence is going to be super important question filtering skill which one is easy which one is difficult which one is a trap question is going to be super difficult risk control whether i should take a risk by solving this section or not that is going to be difficult and then time discipline because in 3 hours you have to cover everything so that is where smart exam prep strategy is only going to matter raw knowledge is not going to matter so even if you are prepared for csr and for last 3 4 years and you have not been able to make it the only solution now is enrolling in sankalp batch which is starting from 28th of january link is in the description and this is ai powered completely ready for csan at and dbt bt students so now the strategy is going to be practicing question rejection not just solving decision making for questions training yourself for uh, you know section switching that this this section i should switch because it's not right for me learning when to abandon the question and not to lose time and building a personal scoring map and not a syllabus map that era is gone the old era of csr net is gone just like when they converted from subjective question paper to mcqs a different era started this is going to be a game changer because dbt and bet is merged this new infrastructure which is going to pop up in front of you is going to be very very challenging but i always have told you there is always a way out all you have to do is figure it out and biotechnica has it figured out to for you with the sankalp batch 2026 which is starting from 20th of january so please share this video with all your friends who are also in this dilemma of how exactly to design a framework how to tame the algorithm of the question paper how to avoid the mistakes which toppers will avoid and how to prepare smarter this year with 
Biotechnica. So go ahead, share with this video. And of course, if you have any questions, write to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. It will be really insightful to listen to your uh, point of view. Please comment below and let's come together to win this exam one step at a time. All the best.